Hi, this is Charlotte Cobber on behalf of the uh, Benelux Lightwave Resource website and just showing you quickly um, what the plugins Polydivide, Polyfan Subdivide and Poly Subdivide do. There are LS scripts for Lightwave, so they can be used for either PC or Mac and I think virtually any version will work, so they're, they're quite handy tools. Um, and I'll show you what they do. Um, if you create a disk, I'm just creating something here and I'll just uh, leave all the segments out and we'll be subdividing them, I'll put them to eight spots. Okay, I'll center that, by pressing the F2 button. So now we have a disk. Now if you have the um, standard sub-patching of Lightwave, so not get more clock, but the standard one, and you want to subdivide this, you'll notice that you get an error because the, um, there are two polygons there that don't exist out of three or four sides. So they can't be sub -patched. Now, as I've shown you in the uh, Project Voltage series that are available through Liberty 3D, um, there are uh, ways about doing or changing the polygons so that they can be subdivided. But there are also some tools for that, and that's where the poly divide and poly subdivide come in. If I choose the top polygon, and just for now I'm going to delete the bottom polygon, if I choose the top polygon, and I'll choose poly divide you notice that it divides the polygon up so that it now has three polygons and they're all four side it's four sides based so they're all quads and now sorry and now if I press the tab key I can subdivide them see now I'll quickly you quickly show you the other tool which is poly subdivide and it does the same thing except that it puts the center in here so it divides it equally and of course you can subdivide that as well um, it's very useful if you um, if this is a bottle and this is the, the top of the bottle and you just simply want to leave this as it is so you get that one polygon at the top just quickly choose poly subdivide or poly uh, divide and you're done you can go on with your with your object Okay, so that's basically what those two do. And there's also the um, polyfan subdivide, but I haven't used that much because it always gives me results that I, I for the for the projects I'm using it, the I can't use the polyfan subdivide. Okay, but they're free and they're available through the Benelux Lightwave Resource website. Now, just quickly, if you want to be adding them to your modeler, um, just go into um, Edit Plugins. Okay, and you just say add plugins, and you just choose the three plugins that you want, and just simply say open, and they'll be added to your utilities tab. And if you want to be adding them like I did here by pressing the control, the shift key, and then the middle mouse button, so you get a quick, quick menu, you just go into edit, and go into um, edit menu layout. So on the left side, you got all the possible commands that Lightwave can do and on the right side you've got the menu structure now if you go down a little bit you'll notice that here we have a middle mouse button menu what I did is I created a new group called CM and then I just simply dragged by going into commands additional so if you've loaded them up like I just shown you on the utilities uh, um, and um, edit modeler tools and just add them now you have those three here and you can simply just drag them underneath the CM group and from then on it shows up right here at the top so you, for quick and easy access and of course you can do that with other tools as well also tools that are available through the different menus if you have a, um, a tool that you use very often you know it might be a quick way to uh, to add them to the uh, middle mouse menu button Okay, well that's it for the uh, poly subdivide and, and divide. You can find those to at the Benelux Lightwave resource website. Just go into files and go to plugins. And then you'll notice that we have the CM tools right here. Okay, you just download them. You can also um, press the plus key button and just 
type in something like divide in the search menu and you should find the CM tools here as well okay there you have them you just press download now and you're done all right so I have a quick five minutes and I've worked, uh, hopefully um, you'll find those um, three um, scripts valuable for you in the future all right bye bye for now